when the Wells Cole came, Henry's driver and fireman were excited. Now we'll show them Henry, old fellow. But there was a small light, light of coal at the coal laundry outside, and the glowing metal part was covered with small lumps. <laughs> They're spoiling my fire. Wait and see. We'll have a roaring fire. Just when we wanted it. The fireman was right. When Henry reached the platform, his fire was burning nicely and making steam. How are you, Henry? I feel fine. You have a good fire driver. Never better, sir, and plenty of steam. No record breaking. Don't push him too hard. Henry, you don't want me pushing, sir. I'll have to hold him back. They arrived early at the station. Thomas arrived. Where have you been, lazy bones? Oh, I can't wait for dawdling tank engines like you. Goodbye. seen anything like it. Hmm, we never had. We'll be out early tomorrow. We've got to take the flying kipper. Don't tell Gordon, but I think if we pull the kipper nicely, so top of hat will let us pull the express. The special code they give you is working well. Hurrah! That will be lovely. All kinds of barges use the harbor at the big station by the sea. There are passenger barges, cargo barges, the fishing boats also come here. They unload their fish on the quay. Some of it goes to shops in the town, and the rest retreats to other places far away. This is the train the railwaymen call the Flying Kipper. Henry was ready at 5 o'clock. There was no one for us. Man hustled and shouted, loading up the crates of fish. The last door banged. The conductor showed his green lamp. The flying kipper was ready to go. Henry, away we go. 
They could have known the switches from the main line. They were fighting with Rosen. And if Rosen don't see them instead of danger, the snow had forced it down. A freight train was waiting in the siding to let the flying kipper pass, and the driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in a caboose. The kipper is due. Who cares? This is good cocoa. The driver got up. Come on, fireman, back to the engine. They got out just in time. Each driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash, but Henry lay dazed and surprised. Oh dear me! So top of that came to see. Topham Hat came to see him. The signal was down, sir. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. I sent snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to crew a prime place for sick engines. They'll give you a new sheet and a larger firebox. And you won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Yes, sir.